Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. And if you've never seen this one before, if you've if you've never seen Lumber Tycoon 2 or Roblox itself, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell, comment down below if you like. But it's up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You're here. You're watching. That's that's the biggest part. As long as you're doing that, I mean, you're you're doing good. So. I'll turn my voice on just so it doesn't have that big red X. Today, what are we doing? I am going to go down here and see how much land, how much money it's going to cost for a new land and probably hydrate a little bit just because it's been, it's been a long weekend and you know, Mountain Dew doesn't show up very well on green cam anyway. So <clears throat> not sponsored by the way. Hmm. I also have uh, cherry limeade sparkling flavored water. Um, by the way, I think this is a sparkling ice. So this is zero carbs, zero calories. Mm. As opposed to the Mountain Dew, which, by the way, I am off keto for the weekend. Um, I'm doing my reset. And then this week, I will start back in on my keto. I want to see how much it costs first there, Reuben. How much are you going to charge me? $39,000. <gasps> We're just going to quit out. <clears throat> Do you want some nanny? Actually, no. Get out of my store. So rude. So rude, Reuben. $39,000. How are we going to get $39,000? Well, I'm going to tell you. I am going to go up to the lava wood. And we are going to bring back some lava trees and probably sell those off. And I know there's much more efficient ways of um, gaining money, especially with like the the ice wood, whatever they call it. Is it ice wood? I don't know. I will direct you over to the wiki if you guys um, need knowledge about uh, lumber. And whatnot. And actually, before I enter the volcano, I will take you over to the page and show you around a little bit um, for what the wiki has to offer. Let's just get up here to the top, please. Do, do, do. There we go. Stop. And I will want to turn my lights on just for this. Let's just jump out and I'll stand my character here for a second. All right, um, Lumber Wiki, Lumber Tycoon 2 Wiki, which is actually fandom, but let's right click, do some properties, do a little bit of studio magic here, and we should be able to fade right in. What in the world? What's that? That's not what I wanted, sir. <laughs> hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Oh, it's because I did it on that one and not this one. Silly, 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 silly me. Okay, let's go to the properties, change it to that Chrome, hit OK, and cut. Perfect. Okay, that's that's the actual screen. I know you guys didn't see anything change, but it actually did change in the background. So, um, right over here. Join the wiki in creating the, the fandom account. Um, I actually have an account, but I'm not logged into it at the moment. Anyhow, this page has got everything that you need to know. If you need to know about the woods, the axes, the locations, the characters, stuff like that. These guys have done a thorough job of pretty much everything. And it gets edited on a daily basis. I don't know what this stuff is. Oh, these are all advertisements. So, um, let's just, oh, excuse me, lava wood. <clears throat> Excuse me, burped right into the mm. lava wood, also referred to as volcano wood or redwood, is only tree that grows on top of the peak of the volcano. It is mainly used as a means of making money. Although it is debated gold wood or frost wood gives more money in the long run. However, the most lethal type of wood to get. It is the le most lethal type of wood to get. And the reason why is because of the volcano itself. Um, you know, if it weren't for the volcano, I mean, it wouldn't be challenging. It wouldn't be fun. So, um, make sure that you have a Valhaller. If you don't have a Valhaller, a regular car will work. 
jump in, and let's go. I've done this so many times, it's like, it's like riding a bike, for me. Of course, when you're 40 and riding the bike, it's much different than when you're, I'm just kidding. It's basically the same. You just have to have some good controls. Drink. And you'll make it. A lot of young players, a lot of like new players, you'll get intimidated at first. Just because the uh, the sound and the the excitement, like it'll it'll throw you off, but you'll do fine. You'll do great. Come on. Let's just get this down. Down, down, down. It'd be great if I had like a specialty axe of some kind. But um if you if you guys have never seen this episode, this uh, this series before, this particular series um, is solo. Now a lot of you might say, "Code, what did you just do there?" Okay, so there's a little trick of throwing trees, and I'll show you what that is. So I actually I do most of my gameplay in first person, just because I like F uh, FPSs, first person shooters, stuff like that. So whenever you see me playing, I'm usually in first person. Now you can do this in third person. It's just a little bit harder. Um, by the way, that's preference. It's, it's, it's no secret, okay? But when you're in first person and you click to grab, the lava trees are always way too heavy unless you've already chopped them all up. Chopping them up is gonna take a long time unless you have a lava ax or I th think the cave crawler ax will, will cut these as well. So what you want to do is see this little like V shape right here. You want to get the wood thrown down this thing along this area somewhere. If you throw it down here, it slides that way. If you throw it down here, it slides that way. Ultimately you want it to end up at the bottom. If you throw it over here, it has a chance of like getting stuck on one of these cliffs and then you got to go down you got to go find it, stuff like that. So. What you want to do is you want to position yourself like you're going to grab the back side of the tree, all right? And when we start to rotate it, it's going to rotate this way, but this is going to be in the way. It's going to be touching the ground. So that rotation, all right, it kind of bugs out and it's just going to throw the tree. That's that's how this works. So I, I didn't actually do it right there. I'm going to click, I'm going to hold shift and press S. So I'm going to rotate it this way, right? It's just gonna throw the tree like that. Yay. Oh, what is that? Like a quadruple flip? Ooh, good form, but a little rough in the landing. He may have to take the bronze. By the way, are you guys watching the Olympics right now? Wow, it's happening over in China. I, I haven't been keeping up too much on it, but I saw a couple of the events. Those guys are talented. It takes a lot of talent to do what they do. I know that uh, in the past, I've always thought, man, I would have loved to have been in the Olympics. Those guys train at a very young age and they train hard and long days. That I mean, that's your life every day. That's what you do. You get up and you train for that. Oof. Not me. No, thank you. Not saying I couldn't do it, but you know, I don't think. <laughs> My old butt would be able to get out there and do it. All right, where did that last one land? Oh no. Okay, so we could drive back down the volcano if we wanted, or we can jump off the edge here. Now, the best thing to do is get a little bit of a running start at it and just let go of the controls. If you let go of the controls, you're not trying to control anything, see? And you'll flip upside down just like that. 50-50 chance that you're you're gonna get stuck upside down. Jump out. If you've got some blueprints on you, grab that small floor. Alright, and just rotate yourself around. Rotate. Turn. Oh look, headstand. It's a little little bit of a bug. I did throw down three, right? Where did the other one go? Oh no, it's over there in the corner. Poop. That's okay. What we can do is I can actually throw all of these. That's not very effective. 
Boom. Not very effective at all. This always works better with walnut trees. I'm just going to throw them all down there. We're going to walk them all back. <laughs> I should probably just do one at a time, shouldn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Just because I don't have a, a fire axe or anything cool, so... I'll show you guys how to stack them and get the most out of uh, your truck ride down. Now, I'm not going to go crazy on this one. Normally, I can stick like three trees into one truckload, but today I'm just going to show you. Do one tree at a time. Take your time. Get them down there. Get them sawmilled and get your, get your money. Get the money. Oh, by the way, uh, a lot of people have been asking about the um, the fake series. Yes, it's still continuing. I do apologize. Um, even my dad said, hey, I missed your video on Friday. I didn't post on Friday. And the reason I didn't post on Friday is because I have been playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I just got a message the other day. It's been my one year anniversary. So on Sunday, no, on this day, last year, was my first upload of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, little nostalgia there, but at the same time, a little heartache, because I started playing it on this channel. I wanted to play it for, for a series, and you guys just didn't watch it, so I ended up not, not doing it anymore. I'm like, no, this is so sad. But that's the reason I didn't play it. So now I'm playing it for myself and I am happy. I am so happy playing it. Let's get this to the back and let's move these because those look like they will fit just right down inside here. There we go. I feel like the Bob Ross of Lumber Tycoon too. That happy little tree. You know, put him right there. We'll call him Clyde. His little friend. You know, you just put them manual where they want to go. This is this is your creation. You know, there's no mistakes here. That looks good. So then, slide this back over on top. That should slide right in there like that. Can this fit in the back right here? No, it cannot. What about this way? Oh, that's good. Mm, looks like that one might be a little bit long. No, fit perfect. Look at that. I might cut that second tree. No, Code, don't do that. Show them the one by ones. One tree at a time. All right. So there we go. One tree loaded up, nice and easy. Show you how much that is. And we'll come back for that other fire tree. Oh, if you get stuck like this, just kind of tap the wood on the back just a little bit and you should be good to go. Come on down. Now, me, I only get 30 minutes a day to go and show you guys what I do to make money and stuff on here whenever I'm doing solos. Um, I know a lot of you, you are going to have so much more time. All right, after you get your homework done, after you get home from school, after you get off work, whatever the case may be. And yes, high school students who are watching me right now, I'm talking to you too. There's no embarrassment about playing Roblox, okay? So if, you're, if your friends are making fun of you for it, find new friends. I'm serious. Because this product, Roblox itself, it's not just a little kid's game <laughs> at all. And if you've got people who are making fun of you for playing an amazing platform like this, oh gosh, then you should not feel embarrassed, okay? Don't feel embarrassed. It's an amazing game. It's an amazing platform. And there's so much potential for business and for otherwise. 
Okay, hold on. I think that might be a little too long. I think the W is where it cuts off, isn't it? Hmm. We might have to work for a, a bigger thingy. Yep, that's too long. So let's cut this in two. Electrotech, by the way. Dude, aren't you getting ready for high school? Like, aren't you just about in high school? That is so crazy. I feel like I have had collaborations and friendships with so many people. It's just, wow. It's, it's crazy how many people I have played this game with. We're gonna have to cut all these, aren't we? That is a bummer. Okay, hold on, that one's short enough. There we go, good deal. That one we're gonna have to cut. Okay, that one we don't have to cut. That should be good to go. There we go. That means all of these should be just the right size. Now, again, a lot of you might be wondering, Code, what the heck? How did you do that? Well, basically, I told the uh, sawmill, hey, I'm gonna move you. So locally, I don't see the, law, the, the lawmill, the sawmill. So whenever I try to move through it, right, I can do so freely. Now on somebody else's computer or on the server itself, that, is, that object is still there. It's not moving. Nobody can see it until I actually place it. So it's a little bit of a glitch that helps with the milling. And by the way, if you're wanting to do the rookie speed run, there are categories for doing it glitched, which this is a glitch. Um, but there's also a category for non glitch, meaning you don't use any of these techniques. If you get first place in that category, ooh, good on you. By the way, I held first for like a day, a little bit less than a day in that speed run. I'm sad nowadays. I don't even try for it. I'm like, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work to try and go do a speed run. Just saying. <clears throat> I like nice, easy days. I like Sundays. Sundays just seem simple. It's right after the weekend, and it's just about time to start work again. You know, it's about time to go back to school or get ready for the week. Nice, easy Sundays. Of course, a lot of people, they hate Mondays. They're like, oh, I hate Mondays. Don't hate Mondays. Mondays are good. Mondays are when businesses open back up and when the world wakens up from a long, comfy weekend. Oh, like when you're watching TV on a couch. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> Anyhow. I hope this video will help satisfy some of you commenters who are like, Code, I miss the old lumber. I, I do too. I have to say, like, playing all the fakes and stuff, that was, that was kind of fun. And I will continue to do it. It's just, there's nothing like the original. There's nothing like coming home and playing a game that you know. A lot of people are like, Code, you're such an expert at this game. No, I just, I've just played a lot, all right? I'm, I want to tell you, I am not an admin. I am not anyone special for this game. I don't have special privileges, okay? So. A lot of people, they tell me all the time, Code, my base got wiped, help. I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> no, tell Defaultio. No, that's not how my friendship with Defaultio works. No, I will talk to Defaultio whenever he wants to talk and whenever I want to talk, not when somebody else loses their base. <sighs> that's called pivoting. 
It's where you know somebody that knows someone and you want them to go and do something for you. Don't pivot. It's it's tacky. It's, it's plain rude. I'll just, I'll just say that. A lot of people on the internet nowadays, they don't have tact. They don't, they don't have taste. Yeah, I, I would say taste. A lot of people on the internet don't have taste. Very, very rude, crude people. Of course, I will say that about all human beings, okay? <clears throat> now, don't take this the wrong way. Human beings, humans, you watching this video right now, unless you're somebody's cat and you're watching me for some reason, which by the way, if somebody's cat is watching me, please take a picture of it. I got to see that, send it to me on Twitter. Um, you're selfish. You are very selfish and it's, it's okay. All humans are selfish. It's got kind of a like self preservation kind of thing. But when, when it comes right down to it, human beings are selfish, cruel, and ill-tempered. All right. And I, I have a lot of hope for the world. Maybe it's a hope that I shouldn't have, but when it comes right down to it, humans themselves are very selfish. Okay. And that's by nature. That's the way you were born. All right. And we are taught to share and to help and to, to help care for each other. But at the same time, like if you think about it, whenever you're a little kid, or if you think about a baby, right. And you take a toy away from a baby they they want it back. That was their toy. Right now it changes over the course of like what happens in your lifetime and where you end up or what was taught to you. And for the most part, we're taught to share and to care about everyone around us. And that's great. We should, we should share and we should care. Uh, and you know, it's, it's not without saying that sometimes we're not selfish. Sometimes we do, we want to help other people. In fact, if it weren't for that wanting to be helpful aspect of humans, hacking probably wouldn't be possible because social engineering is a huge part of like how to hack someone, how to gather information and relying on somebody else's helpfulness. That's, that's how a hack works. <clears throat> Code, what are you talking about? Well, for the most part, everyone wants something for themselves, right? But the world doesn't owe us anything ever. Okay. If you're going around thinking that somebody owes you something that you deserve something, you're wrong. I mean, you have the right to happiness. You have the, <clears throat> the right to free will, but those also come at a cost. I don't know. I'm getting lost in, in thought. My ADHD is just taken off today. But code, you seem so calm and collected. Yeah, that's still my ADHD. <laughs> Especially when I, I lose train of thought like that, which happens often. Um, I'm selfish, you know, and it's, it's true. I want time to myself. Like on Friday, I thoroughly enjoyed coming in and just playing Zelda. It was great. I didn't have to worry about getting a video out. I didn't have to worry about doing a tweet. I didn't have to worry about anything. Just came in, threw my headphone, headphones on and got lost in the world of Breath of the Wild. And it's an amazing game. If you have not played Breath of the Wild or you don't have a Switch, highly encourage you go get a Switch, go get Breath of the Wild and just play. It's, it's huge. It's fun. And I mean, I get so lost. I am one of those people who I don't feel complete until I've cut down all the grass in the field. 
And there's a lot of grass. And I used to do that with, uh, oh, what was it? Zelda Link to the Past. I used to cut down like all the bushes and all the things because I knew there would be a hidden secret in there somewhere and I'd be able to find it and be amazing. But in Breath of the Wild, there is so many plains and grass and just things. It's crazy. Is this, this going to fit sideways? That is not going to fit sideways. Dang. All right. We're going to have to stack up a little bit differently on this one, aren't we? Is this wide enough? Oh, buddy. No, you were too wide. By the way, I'm simply referring to your shape, not to your weight. Come on, let's get in there. Get in there. Please, it's just, it's so close. <clears throat> okay, fine. You, no, not you. You get back in there. Good. You, turn sideways. You go long ways like that. That works. That works. You can do two more like that. Well, may maybe one more like that. Will that fit? I don't, I don't know that that's going to fit. But that's alright. I'm going to slap this one on that side too. There we go. Did you fall out a little bit? Bump, 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 bump. Put that one in. That's using your head. Bump, 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 bump. Okay. Looks pretty even. We got 17,000 for that last run. How, how far along? We've been talking for 27 minutes? Holy cow. Did it feel like 27? It did not feel like 27 minutes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to keep it a 30 minute episode, but um, if you don't get to see me finish these off, I will plank them out, sell them off, and hopefully, oh, it's going to be 39,000. This isn't going to be 39,000. But, I mean, we went from, what, 4,000 to 17,000? And one, oh, don't lose it, code. By the way, slow down when you take the turns. That's what happened right there. I was not paying attention. I just kept flying around. All right. So, if you... If you slow down before you take a turn, like this, slow down, take a turn, the friction will increase on your truck and you won't lose the wood. If you're about to go over a bump, let go of the pedal. Just, you know, normal stuff. All right, let's see how long you are. Nope, that's gonna need to be cut. We're gonna try it real quick. Test, test, test. Needs to be cut. Grab the next one. Test, test, test. Nope, needs to be cut. Try this one. Nope, still too long. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, oh, that one worked. Ooh. Try that one. Good. Just moving right along today, aren't we? Come on, get lined up there. Get lined up, buddy. Hey. <clears throat> I like the solos. Are you guys ready for your your packs badges and going go into packs? I mean, I am ready. Oh, by the way. Um, somebody was asking me the other day, Code, where can I pick up an Oculus? Because I want to play VR Roblox. If you look in that video description where you saw me play Lumber VR, go look in the video description. I have links, and they are affiliate links. So, like, if you buy them from there, I get paid a little bit. But I've got links for the 128 and the 256 gigabyte Oculus in that video. So. Lots of people have questions about Oculuses and uh, Roblox VR. Um, if you do have questions, please go read my article on PC Magazine. Yes, I write for PC Mag. I'm a journalist. Anyhow, 
Um, go read those two articles. Uh, no, one article. Go. I've got six articles on there total. And I'm actually writing a seventh one called Roblox 101, Everything You Need to Know About Roblox. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get everything covered. But I'm waiting for um, the, what is it, the PO, the invoice number, to go through for uh, before I get started in on it. Because I've done that before. Never start work without a contract. All right, get it in writing. And I will tell that to the old people and the young people of my channel, always get it in writing because handshake deals do not work anymore. There's too many people out there who are selfish and won't uphold their end of the bargain, no matter what. Now that's not to say there aren't some honest people out there in the world. There are, there's lots of honest people. Like even if I, if I were making a deal with myself, I would still get it in contract in writing. Always do. Hmm. You know what I want to do? <clears throat> and this is just me talking out loud again. All right. Do not take this. Do not freak out when I say this. I would love to shut down my channel as a lumber game player and start building my old games getting back into the builds i've got time i mean there's plenty of time for me to sit down and program these things but do it dedicated 100 percent, like all the time game development <sighs> go bust out my unity and start uh start making games again I went through all those courses and got my certification and uh, then I stopped. I'd also like to play uh, Legend of Zelda again, the Breath of the Wild um, on the channel or on a new channel. Maybe, maybe start a new channel, you know? I've got Zero Decaf Coffee, which is great, but I haven't posted over there in a little bit. And the last big series I had was uh, Resident Evil 4 VR and that was fun so I don't know maybe it'd be good just to shut down the channel while, while it's still ahead I mean it's still it still generates money it's still fun to do it's just these are thoughts and ideas that I have weekly wits you down? I'm playing some VR. I am totally down, sir. Let me go and finish up my last little bit here. And I will come and join you. We'll go we'll go hack and slash some games. <clears throat> By the way, if you happen to have VR, you can absolutely send me a friend request. And I would be more than glad to accept it. Um, you just gotta gotta tell me who you are, because if I don't know who you are, I probably won't accept it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, and a lot of you might be asking, "Hey, Code, how do you get the the truck to do that?" Well, when you first jump out of the truck, make sure that you hold backwards. Like I'm driving backwards right now, and then I jump. Okay, and if you do that, the combination of this will cause the back of the truck to become like a conveyor belt. Come on, get along little doggy. Get in there, go get sold. Oh gosh, I got a jam. There it goes. Not quite enough to buy another land, is it? 24, 25, maybe I should go do Icewood. It's 26,000. Yeah. I think next time we'll go do some ice wood. Spend a little bit of money on the what well, in the world. <laughs> okay, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Taskin's Code Priming. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do all those cool things it's supposed to call out. Go get yourself uh, Roblox. 
If you if you've never played Lumber Tycoon 2 before, jump in, go play, get a private server. Okay, if you don't want to mess with the the public stuff and the public servers, get a private server. Come in with your friends, go have fun and play. Love you guys very much. Have a great week to start it out because today's Monday. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Outro.